everybody, it's Matt with uh, remove-malware.com and tonight I want to go ahead and take a look at Google Chrome, um, take a look at some of the security it has to offer you. And last night I took a look at IE8's uh, smart screen filter. Uh, this time we're going to take a look at Google Chrome. It looks really cool and it's really, really fast and really friendly. So, anyway, uh, I just I have ten uh, malicious URLs, and I'm going to throw them against Chrome and see how it protects us. Now, Chrome um, is missing one little thing that the IE8 Smart Screen uh, filter has, and that is uh, executable filtering. Uh, Chrome doesn't really look at any executables. Uh, if you go directly to an executable. It'll allow you to download it and run it and do whatever you want with it. So um, I really wish that Chrome could team up uh, with some some kind of uh, open source antivirus effort and kind of scan uh, executables like they do in their uh, Gmail product. You know, when you're in uh, Gmail and you want to download um, an executable, it'll actually uh, scan it for viruses and then um you know tell you if it's safe or not so i wish their search uh search engine would or their browser would allow you to do that too so anyway i have um 10 links here some are exploits and some are um executables so we have a php redirect right here i'm going to go ahead and paste it in hit enter and google says warning this site may harm your computer. Now, I should also mention that um, Google indexes pages every single millisecond. You know, indexes millions and maybe billions of websites um, every every year. When it finds a site that has um, is dishing out malicious uh, content, it will flag it and put it in their index as being harmful and this is what you get. How they flag it and how they can tell it's malicious, they don't really say. I looked that up. Um, they just kind of tell you, you know, when we come across something bad, they don't say how it's bad. Um, we put it in our index as being bad and say, okay, if you really want to go here, you can click this checkbox and say proceed anyway. I'm not going to do that. So that's num link number one was successfully blocked by Chrome. And link number two is an actual executable. And what happens when you load an executable through Chrome, you can see uh, Chrome uses domain highlighting as well. And then you have the, uh, the executable right here, that .exe. And you have the option of saving it. I can save it, no problem at all, and double click and load it, and nothing stops it. So if they could just, if Chrome could have some kind of... Uh, little plug-in where it says hold on before we download this we're going to take a look at this verify it against some you know open source uh, antivirus database like uh, it would be so cool if they could scan it against virustotal.com that would be awesome anyway here's another one same deal I could save it um, Chrome doesn't block it uh, number four. Okay. Chrome blocks number four. Seems to do really, really well on the um, PHP exploits. Number five. Blocked. Number six. blocked. Number seven is an executable. It allows me to save it. Number eight is a JavaScript. Blocked. Number nine is fake antivirus. It allows me to save it. 
Number 10 is a root kit, and it's blocked. So Chrome does like a fantastic job on the PHP exploits and the JavaScript exploits and all those redirects. It was perfect. Um, this is the third time I've tested it. This is the, the one I've actually recorded. Uh, every time it's blocked everything I've thrown at it. And these threats were released today. Um, I want to go ahead and show you how you can test a site um, for being malicious without actually using uh, Google Chrome. You can go to right here. It's Google Google.com slash safe browsing slash diagnostic and then you provide a site. And I'll kind of give you a demo. Let me just copy this URL. If I paste it in here and then I grab one of these, like this guy right here, this malicious uh, URL and paste it at the end so it looks like this. It's google.com slash safe browsing slash diagnostic um, site equals um, my malicious site. And then if I hit enter, it says safe browsing diagnostic page for scan log 6.info. It says what is the current listing status for scan log 6.info. Scan log site is listed as suspicious. Visiting this website may harm your computer, and trust me, it does. Loads of rootkit. Uh, what happened when Google visited the site? You know, of the three pages we tested over the last 90 days, zero pages resulted in uh, malicious software being downloaded. Um, however, malicious software, uh, let's see, includes 58 script scripting exploits. So. They've uh, got a lot of stuff on there. And it says, has this site hosted malware? Yes, the site has hosted malware over the last 90 days. Uh, it infected 19 domains, including, and so, you know, has all these domains here. And then they tell you how did it happen, next steps, what to do, how you can, how you can secure your site, and so on. So... Um, Google Chrome also uses a sandbox for their HTML rendering engine and JavaScript rendering engine. Um, I wouldn't know. Uh, I don't really see any way to really test that, but just it's you know out there for you. But um, as Google's indexing improves and their and their um, malicious recognition software improves, it's going to be pretty wild to. Um, to find any sites that aren't aren't uh, you know instantly indexed by Google eventually, so um, they're they're keeping you safe as best as as best as they can. So uh, if they can just add an EXE scanner like they do in their Gmail product, uh, man, Chrome would be very very nice. So anyway, uh, that's it uh, for this little demo of Chrome. I know it's fast, but there's really not much else to show. So. <laughs> Anyway, talk to everyone later.